<laughs> you know when you play golf, you have a handicap. Yeah. Theirs is called Ramsdale. Oh, you know what I mean? It's right. like every time they play a team, it's like they have a minus one. Welcome to the award-winning latest episode of Yahoo and Footballing Weekly. And not just any award, global award-winning. You see, I'm slipping. <laughs> I forgot that part. Forgot that part. I forgot that part. Yeah, global. I'm slipping. Global. Yep. Global, global sports award. podcast award-winner. Thanks to you. Silver medal. So thank you. Thank you. You see, you, I, 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 okay, let's, let's, I would have said the yeah, silver medal part. Yeah, I, I would have just said global <laughs> award-winning podcast. Thanks right. to you wonderful listeners. Of course, as always, we won the Diversity Award. Thanks to you. So as always, keep the comments coming. Yep. All things English Premier League and... Local football. Newsflash. Newsflash. Mm. It's because of you and your loyal viewership, listenership, and stop me in the street chip, right, <laughs> which you're all doing. Thank you very much. We're back. Starhub Star is back. Yeah. Starhub. Starhub. Star Thank Star Hub. you, Starhub. Yeah. So they're back as our sponsors. Thank you very much for them. And obviously, as Premier League broadcasters, they got lots of good deals for you. Uh, for example, if you now you sign up for their Premier League promo, uh, you it's only at $25.22 per month. Great deal. Great what deal. you get, you we can watch matches on multiple devices. You, you can watch it in 4K, ultra high definition quality. You can rewatch, replace full matches, whatever yep. you want. And best of all, if you are either the youth generation youth or the pioneer generation, 50% off the subscription. Brilliant. Brilliant. Wonderful, right? Absolutely brilliant. So here's the website for you to go and see the, what deals you want to sign up for. Go and sign up for. And two things I'm going to say mm. that I'm not being paid to say. I'm going to just tell the truth. Mm. I recently got the new box, the black box. Oh, nice. Bang & Olufsen. You oh, know Bang & Olufsen. Yeah, yeah. Top, top audio, right? It is magnificent. That's, that's the first thing. The audio is brilliant. Mm. The second thing is, because it's an upgraded software, my daughter loves it. Because in real time, we can watch it. You can click. The lead table comes down yeah, the side. Yeah. Top scorers, oh. leading assists. It's great. So you it's can so, watch in real time. Yeah. You can check the table. Whatever you need is on, on fingertips. Yeah. And, and the, the second thing I was going to say, mm -hmm. and you know this is true, my daughter's got to step up her Mandarin. So I'm trying to find Mandarin sites for her about football oh, to keep nice. her interested, That's right? Nice. So I was clicking last night, Manchester City, Mandarin, whatever. And by mistake, I got footage from a dodgy website. Mm -hmm. the, the footage was awful. Uh -huh. The coverage was awful. It was full of ads. And I couldn't, under why would you, yeah, why I mean, would you even bother with that yeah. crap? It's, it's pirated. It's terrible. You're opening yourself up to be hacked. Yes. It's just rubbish. Yeah. Yeah. Just sign up. I mean, it's, it's reasonably priced. It's a it's a giveaway. Yeah. It's less than a dollar yeah. a day. Yeah. Right? It's less and than a dollar a day. Absolutely, you're right. Less, and, yeah. and my father, because everybody knows this, firstly, you don't get live games in England, mm -hmm. 3 p.m. games on Saturday. Nope, no, get there's it. a blackout. Mm. So you don't even get those. Secondly, the coverage is split across different platforms, mm. Sky, BT, the, whatever yeah, else it is. Amazon right? now. Correct. Yeah. yeah. And you've got every single game for 25 bucks, plus you've got highlights, plus you've got stats, plus you've got I, I just, data. Yeah. Like it, 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 it blows, blows my, mind. my mind. It blows my mind, actually. So sign up. Sign it, up for them. It's an absolute great deal, yep. especially when you get oh. games like Liverpool against Manchester City. I don't support either team, but that was a genuinely great game. A many, great 1-1 one, one draw. How many adjectives can you fit inside? Frenetic, breathless, um, intense... Brilliant. Oh, it's just and, and you should savour it because yeah. I don't know how much longer, we know Klopp is leaving, but just, it's almost like we've got this Messi-Ronaldo dynamic playing out in the Premier League yeah, between yeah. Klopp and Guardiola. Yeah. These are once-in-a-generation so managers exactly. together. Exactly. Guardiola is all about order. Yeah. Klopp is all about chaos. Yeah. And you know, when they, whenever they clash together, it's just like, you know, you're trying, you, you're trying to make sense of the frenetic action all over the pitch, and then it goes on to this side and goes on to the other the other side. It's just like the second half of that match. I was like, I couldn't take my yep. eyes off it. Brilliant. And I, and I, I'll tell you, I'm starting to feel sorry. <laughs> I'm genuinely starting to feel sorry for Liverpool fans because as each game goes on, you are starting to see what you're about to lose it's because just, yeah. what Jurgen Klopp has done for that team. This isn't coaching anymore. I know it sounds pretentious. This is becoming alchemy. <laughs> I wrote it in my column. I wrote it in my column. What he's doing at that club, why on earth, how on earth is Diaz outrunning Walker? 
How is that even possible? How is Endo keeping the shackles on the best midfielder in the world in that position? Kevin De Bruyne. Right? <laughs> How is Rodri being sort of shackled by a couple of kids? All of these how, 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 because he is making them stretch every nerve, every sinew. They are shredding muscles, burning lactic acid like no footballer I have ever seen. They are making they are making themselves greater than the sum of their parts. Mm. And it's down to him. He is the alchemist. And I've never, and I'm not being over the top here, I've never seen anything like it. Absolutely. I mean, I mean, well. Even even before this season, I think Liverpool fans are, you know, not really that aware that our youth academy players can take that step up. Yeah. We we know that things are doing well at in the in the youth level. Yeah. But obviously we didn't win any FA youth FA Cup or something like that. So we so it's all bubbling under and, and then we every t- and this this season when the injury starts to started to pile up. All of us have said, "Oh, this, I think I don't. I don't think we can. We can. We can win the league and whatever." And then you see, you see, Connor Bradley step up. Yep. And essentially, hey, this guy is this guy is such. You no, know, he knows exactly how to play club system, and yep. he's and he's putting hundred and ten percent effort. Yeah. And then you see Jaro Jaro Quenza against Haaland, against Haaland, against anybody on the on 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 the in, in the Premier League, and he's like. Come as you like. Both of them, Haaland, yeah. Alvarez, they both yeah. had a go against yeah. him. And he, nothing, nothing, nothing. Moment. And then the young players, obviously, the cameo roles during the Carabao Cup uh, help help us won it. And now you now now the Liverpool fans are starting to believe that okay, while 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 it was it's it's, it's going to be really really sad to let um to to see Jurgen Klopp go. Future is not as bleak as. Oh no no, uh, no no no! Yeah, I mean, I mean, I mean, yes, obviously, we will miss a huge part of. But I, what what it is? I just wonder if another yeah. manager can get out of them uh, as much as he is. I doubt so. Yeah. I, I I I don't think so. I mean, I, I can pretty be positive is there wouldn't be another person yeah. like Klopp. But the health of the club is not. No 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 no! No, it, no <laughs> one's playing violins yeah. for Liverpool. <laughs> At all. But here's an irony. How many times have I said on this podcast, I still think Jurgen Klopp is being disrespected? I've said that many times and people laughed at me. But now, ironically, it's only this week I saw on uh, Monday Night Football, Uh Ian Wright and uh, Jamie Carragher were having this serious conversation about whether Jurgen Klopp is a better manager than Pep Guardiola. If you'd have even tried to have that conversation a year ago, people would have laughed at you. But if you take like for like, could Pep Guardiola do with Liverpool what Klopp has done with Liverpool? I don't believe so. Could Jurgen Klopp do with Manchester City what Guardiola has done? I think yes. Might be even better. I think yes. Mm. And if he wins another title this season, that has to be one of the great achievements since Leicester City because they just don't have the squad. And that's not even factoring in the injuries. They just don't have the squad that Manchester City have. They don't have the spending power, nothing. They're not even in the same ballpark as City. I think it's extraordinary. But it's ironic that we've almost had to wait for this guy to be leaving before we realise what he's done is unbelievable. It's extraordinary and it will never be done again. Absolutely. I I think, yeah, and that match, I mean, as much as um, the VAR controversy, the last minute penalty shot, I think fans shouldn't, and anybody who's watching watching football shouldn't be fixated by that VAR no. VAR uh, incident, which which I also I'm, I'm I I thought that it was a 50-50 challenge, and I mean you could you could easily say if if without VAR the referee wouldn't have I don't I don't I doubt he have given it. It shouldn't overshadow how great those two teams, Manchester City and Liverpool, have brought um, the league up. To that standard that right now is head and shoulders above every other European league yeah. in 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 in, in uh, yeah more. Spanish La Liga, Italian Serie A, German Bundesliga, none of them can hold a candle to that level of intensity, non-stop, unremitting brilliance from kickoff to the full time yeah. whistle. And only one of them has got allegations of financial cheating. 115. (laughs) 115. Allegations. I got got Liverpool fans who refuse to call that team by Manchester City. 115. Well, yeah, it's great. I like that. I like that. I like that. Well, apparently, 
a date has been set, yeah. but it just hasn't been released to yeah. the public. Get, get, to get it. it moving. I know it's, it's a long drawn process, mm. but get it moving. They've please. got to get that asterisk either removed or yeah. set in stone, yeah. one or the other. It's, but while we're talking about Manchester City, the one thing I will say about them, Manchester City, for the first time, had problems in their midfield. Oh, yeah. For the first time. And it was extraordinary how easy it was for Liverpool to kind of navigate, circumnavigate their midfield and just bypass it. And it seemed so simple. For the longest time, they've had John Stone step up alongside Rodri and he's playing passes through the midfield. And Liverpool just thought, now sod that, we'll just bypass. We'll just bypass. We'll, we'll stick the ball up to Nunes, the battering ram, and we'll win the second ball. It almost felt like Sunday morning park football, <laughs> but it kept working and working and working. And Pep Guardiola did lots of head scratching. Didn't change it, didn't fix it. And he tried to, he took out Kevin De Bruyne, put in yeah. Kovacic. Which upset De Bruyne. Which upset De Bruyne. And then, and then sort of, that, that team sort of like stabilised a bit. But mm. for a while, they were rattled after considering the penalty goal. Yeah. And of course, I'll acknowledge that Liverpool's tenacity is unbelievable at the moment. They're, they're just endless running. So it did need a lot of that as well. Mm. But the fact that from a tactical standpoint, it wasn't that hard. Yeah, yeah. we'll just go over them. <laughs> we'll just go to Bye, John. <laughs> See you, John. And then he was sweating. Guardiola was sweating all So John's water. this fabulous footballer, elegant, plays it out of defence beautifully. Yeah. And he's like, that. <laughs> what am I going to do? Go back to defence and find that. It's brilliant. It was like yeah. watching Wimbledon again yeah. in the 80s and 90s. It was, a, it was a worry. Not everyone's going to be able to play like Liverpool, but it makes it interesting. They're human. They've yeah. got flaws. Mm -hmm. And then with Arsenal winning, which we'll get to now, with Arsenal winning, we've got a title race. Whoa. Yeah, I mean, 2-1 at uh, Brentford. Um, so uh, now Arsenal are top of the table, 64 mm. points. Uh, Liverpool are second behind on goal difference. Manchester City are one point behind. Yeah, And it's like, wow, well, you couldn't expect uh, Arsenal to to be still so, you know, still in the midst of the battle, but they have won eight in a row, almost like Manchester City-esque. Yeah. And, you know, even though they struggle and then had to endure Aaron Ramsdale's well, howler. <laughs> you know, when you play golf, you have a handicap. Yeah. This is called Ramsdale. Oh, you know what I mean? It's right. like every time they play a team, it's like they have a minus one yeah. handicap that Ramsdale... Uh, I mean, we, he just gave them the goal. We he have, just we gave have it said to them. from the start of the season, Raya and Ramsdale, this situation is going to... Yeah. Might cost them the the, the, the title chase, but thanks, but somehow they dug themselves I out. I don't think it will because he only yeah. played because it was, because, his, yeah. it was Raya's parent club, yeah. Brentford. So yeah. he'll just go back into the team. Mm. But Ramsdale has to leave at yeah, the end of the I season. Think, I, I mean, think. he can't continue with this. It's it's demeaning. You know, he's yeah. got his self-respect to think about. Yeah, unless he could somehow, you know, you know, our uh, Liverpool, the now Callagher is in place of Alisson. He, he has that temperament to be a deputy to Alisson. Oh, he, and, he, and that's another example of yeah. Klopp's genius. Mm. The guy comes in, no issue. No issue, right. That's yeah. why. So I don't know whether Ramsdale has that kind no. of uh, temperament to say, okay, I'll be the deputy. I don't, I, I doubt so because he looks like he wants to yeah. play every day and he needs a full first place uh, f a first team place to, to do so, yeah. I agree. Well, I'm yeah. calling it. I haven't said this before, but this is the first time I'm going to say it. We genuinely have a proper title race. Oh. I've not said that because I kept thinking that Manchester City were going to pull away. Arsenal were going to falter. Liverpool squad is too stretched. It hasn't no. happened. In ten, the middle of March, it hasn't happened. Ten more games. And this is I, going I, to I, I don't end. know. It's going right down to the wire. I cannot see how it doesn't because I still think Manchester City's midfield, they will still drop points. And I never thought I would say yeah. that. Other teams may as well, but it doesn't matter because City will drop more point. points. Liverpool are just, they were like, they're like Duracell <laughs> bunnies to the moon. They just can't stop <laughs> moving, stop Liverpool. Arsenal are hanging in there. It's going to the final Ooh, week of the season. We are, you are in for a treat. Right? I, 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 and being the nerd that I am, I want to check when it was the last time that uh, such a three horse title race happened. So let me guess. Was it Leicester's year? No. Leicester no, really. Spurs that, Arsenal? That was, yeah, oh, yeah. oh no, they had a big lead, didn't so they? It was back in 2009, 2010 seasons where Chelsea won yeah. a point ahead of Manchester City, two points ahead of Arsenal. Yeah, was that, that Ancelotti's Chelsea? Ancelotti's yeah, Chelsea. Yeah, that was a that. close one. That's our closest one. Wow. But even then that one wasn't felt didn't felt like a classic, unlike this one, when like all three teams were like 
yeah. on full cylinders, firing on all four And even cylinders. the ones that went to the final day, because people forget even the Liverpool one, this, yeah. the famous Gerrard one, it mm. still went to the final day. Mm. And But they just won. I mean, who was it? Who won the league day? Uh, it was Chelsea. No, Chelsea. It was, uh, Man, Man, City. City. Man City. But they just won yeah. on the final day. There's been a few that went to the final but day. Two but, horse race. But it was, yeah. And it was always yeah. in the team's hands. Correct, they didn't correct. have to wait for other results. Correct, correct. Now, I think this one is going to the final day of the season. I'm not going to pick a winner because I don't no. know. <laughs> Who do you think is going to win? Will this race go to the end of the season? Send your comments to Yahoo Southeast Asia on YouTube, Yahoo SG, Yahoo underscore MY on Twitter, Yahoo SEA on TikTok. Now, Aston Villa, Tottenham. Who did we predict last week? I think Villa, right? Did we t- pick Villa? I, I did pick Villa. Did I pick Villa, Jay? He can't remember. Can't remember. Uh, I'm sure I picked Tottenham. I might have said draw. I, I, draw I might have said I draw. Might have said draw. But, but I, nobody saw 4 0. Right? <laughs> second half, along. it was all goals yeah. in the second half. And I'm going to put it down to one thing, Rick James Cup. Madison. I think oh. I, I'm going with James Madison because James Madison was out for almost three months. I think with the I think it was ankle, but yeah, he was yeah. out for almost three months. For a long time, yeah. They wobbled. James Madison fits Ange ball perfectly. He's an intelligent footballer, quick fo- mm. footballer, can cut in from inside. He links up with Sun Hong Ming so well. Yeah, uh, scored a goal. First goal. Yeah. Uh, Brilliant with Sun Hong Ming. Yep. Sun Hong Ming feels revitalised yes. with James Madison beside him. Yeah. With Madison there, if Sun Hong Ming stays fit, I don't see why Ange Ball can't, certainly in the top five, mm-hmm. which could be the Champions League yeah, this yeah. year. Um, but yeah, I think top five for Spurs looking good. But yeah, they are, they are just a point behind Villa, fourth, Villa, who's in fourth place, mm. and they have a game in hand over mm. Villa. So, I mean, they should be the favourites to get that fourth, fourth spot. Yeah. So, But what I'm more concerned of for, for Spurs is that all three contenders have have to play them in the run-in. So oh. so for for three three consecutive weeks, the Spurs will play Man City at Tottenham at their home at home. Draw. Uh Arsenal at home. Oh, North London Derby. Tottenham. Tottenham. <laughs> and then Liverpool at Anfield. They will, Liverpool. they will lose that one. So so this this three week stretch will will be they will they will could very well decide where the title goes. The North London Derby is fascinating yeah. because in North London derbies, whatever the respective positions of the teams, Tottenham always plays like Klopp's Liverpool. <laughs> it's always one hundred and ten percent Jurassic yeah. Bunnies. I hate you. I hate you. I hate and you. Especially they will always. they will want to deny Arsenal. Correct. To win the title, they will go 150%. That's a tough one. That, that's the one that, oh, that's a banana skin. Uh, yeah. that's, that's a real banana that, skin. That will be the true test for Arsenal. Uh, yeah, I like that. End of April. Okay, <laughs> quick word on Manchester United oh. because you and I both saw the amazing, oh. um, it, not interview, chat with yeah. uh, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer on the overlap with uh, Gary Neville and Carragher yeah. and Keane. Just yeah. a fascinating insight. I mean, Solskjaer is a Good man, he's a polite man, kind man. But even he had to give a little insight into just this dif- dysfunctional, dysfunctional yeah. mess. At That's Manchester absolutely United. the right word. I mean, I was astonished a bit at the uh, honesty at, 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 his, at, his, at his honesty. I thought he would like deflect something, deflect things. To come. No, he said, I tried to get Haaland twice. Said no, they said no. Because he, he's, he's Norwegian. He's known the <laughs> yeah. boy since he was a kid. Yeah, he's he, friends he, with his he father. Had his model team. and He played with his yeah. father. Yeah. They don't, they don't want him. Um, they said uh, players don't want to take up the captaincy. That that really blows my mind. You are at Manchester United and you are being g- given the opportunity to be a captain for some matches. Only certain games. Certain games. It. Yeah, only certain games. Some games, they don't want to take up the captaincy. I like, I'm just... That that one that one really blows my mind. You could see Gary Neville and Roy Keane, former captains, just <laughs> shaking their heads shaking in disbelief. Head. Yeah. yeah, even, even Carragher was like, what the hell? But the biggest one... Whoever's making decisions at Manchester United to get the opportunity to sign Haaland twice. You've got a fellow Norwegian who's known him since he was a little boy telling you, a striker. Yeah, a striker. Yeah, Solskjaer telling him, this kid is like nothing I've ever seen. You can get him for peanuts. It yeah. was just a few million, 20 right? million, nothing. Also, the second no. time. No. And then no again. Honestly, if whoever it was at Manchester United, for that reason alone, I would sack them all. <laughs> I agree. Anyone who had their fingerprints on on that botched deal to get Haaland, how are they still there? How, yeah, why why are they still there? And obviously, they, they also talk about the Ronaldo situation, mm. which was, I think that was that was down a bit 
to socials of Wiggers. course he admits that yeah, he, admits he, that. he admits that yeah and but, he was saying that you know well it was a good idea and I wanted him here yeah. but eventually the moment he came in they found out that it's going to... Yeah. yeah. But that one was a bit of an unwinnable situation yeah. for Solskjaer because when all those people played them out, didn't they? Yeah. They started waving Manchester City, City in and front then, of them. Yeah. And as soon as they do that, United... Well, put it this way. A stronger United would have said no mm. because a Klopp's Liverpool yes, would have said no. Yeah. I mean, uh, back in the day, Liverpool said no to Michael Owen <laughs> coming back. So you yeah. don't have to sign your former legend. Yeah. But yeah, that was a weakness on yeah. his part. But it's fascinating. And 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 one more thing before before we, well, we, we I mean, it's it's now now the most juiciest details come from this kind of podcast where yeah. people speak to former former teammates and yeah. former players. I mean, I, I feel a bit ashamed of my profession as a journalist. It's the death of the sports. It's media. really the de- death of the sports. Like nowadays, you see you see sports journalism is all analysis, all commentaries, but never. A, a very in-depth interview with a footballer. Obviously, the distrust among them right. has grown so much that it wouldn't happen. But it's really quite sad that uh, journalism, sports journalism in, in Britain has come down to But this. you're so right. Yeah. And, and US as well, Australia, yeah. not just in the UK, but you're so right. Social media and particularly podcasting mm-hmm. has completely changed completely the changed. sports media dynamic. Because if Solskjaer, as, as you say, sits down to do the overlap, he's sitting down with friends. Mm-hmm. So there's already a better relationship, a warmer relationship yeah. than you're ever going to get with a journalist. Mm-hmm. That's number one. Number two is he knows they're not going to throw any gotcha questions at him. They're his friends. Yeah. They're not going to throw him under the bus. And because of those two factors, he's just going to instinctively open up more. And you're going to get the kind of exclusive that yeah. a regular journalist can only dream of. Exactly. And and people like uh, Neville and Carragher, they've also done media work enough to know how to ask the right questions. Yep. And get get the most out of uh, Solskjaer and uh, Rooney the week before. You know it was fascinating. This that's why I, I, I totally recommend stick to oh, football. It's, I watch it every week. Yeah. It's absolutely it must is, watch. It's a must watch podcast for football fans. Couldn't agree. Yeah. And to the last point, because of all of what we just said, they get unbelievable figures. Yeah. They get a million viewers within six hours. That's why they won. They, they are one of the winners of the same. No, we yeah. are among the winners. Just to put it, yeah. just to remind you one more time, we won the same award as the Gary Neville overlap. So it's not the same category. No, not the same category. And he got gold and we got silver. But <laughs> we won the same award. Yeah, so yeah, just remember that. Don't forget it. So we will wrap up this global award winning podcast. Predictions. Uh, we got it's this FA week. Cup weekend. It so, is. So uh, Man City against Newcastle at the heart. Oh, easy. Even if Man City play a weakened squad, Newcastle were struggling. Yeah, yeah they, uh, they just they, lost to They just Chelsea. lost to Chelsea. Yeah. I, I looked at the table. They're down to like 10th yeah, now. They're, they're below they're, West Ham, Brighton, had, Wolves. Well, um, they had, I, I, would, I would say they had injury issues, but after Liverpool, it's like every kind of injury issue is like, what? You cannot. <laughs> I have a lot of sympathy for Newcastle. Yeah. Uh, state owned. No, I don't. Uh, state owned. <laughs> Couldn't care less. <laughs> Couldn't care less. <laughs> Couldn't care less. Anyway. Man right? City 2 1. Well, this is the. I've just realised this mm. is the battle of the city states, isn't yeah, it? Right? Yeah, exactly. I just realised that. So I don't care who wins, to be honest. <laughs> I but, can but hardly probably care. But probably is Man City. Yeah, but, I go with Man City. Main event: Manchester United at Old Trafford facing Liverpool. Mm. Well, I mean, I mean, on paper is you would think Liverpool will walk it. Oh, that's tough, you know. But you know, Manchester United. I know they will. They would really hate to lose to Liverpool at Old Trafford. Correct. And be it's, locked out of the FA Cup, which is their last. Yeah. Probably their last uh, available title shot. It's like the North London derby again, yeah. you know. They, they yeah. just and also they had a good win last week, a, a yeah. solid win. Everton was yeah. it Everton? Everton two penalties, but okay. Yeah, okay, but it was easy. It yeah. wasn't. It wasn't difficult. Mm. That's tough, you know. Yeah. Is Hoyland back? Uh, trying, trying his hardest. <laughs> I don't think he is, and even if he is, he he, he won't start. Yeah. Uh, do you know what? That's that's really yeah. tough. Full house and man, you need this. You know, it's the classic. Yeah. They need it a lot more than Liverpool. Yeah. Liverpool lose, not the end of the world. Correct. Okay. In, in fact, some 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 fans oh, are saying. I don't know. Some fans are saying maybe if we lose this one, uh, we're not the one to go for the quadruple. No, we just if we really want to focus on overtaking uh, Arsenal for the league title, maybe this one is one we like. No, to. I'm not having but, it. But those Liverpool Klopp fans, will, Klopp will never do no, it. Those Klopp Liverpool will fans never do are it. either idiots yeah. or they don't know the history because <laughs> no, Liverpool never wants to lose to Man U <sighs> in tough, any tournament and especially at Old Trafford. 
I'm I'm buying into the alchemy. I'm buying into Klopp the magician. I just think they're on a different level at the moment. They're floating. They're on air. I'm going with Liverpool 2-1. I just think they're operating at a different level to everybody else mentally yeah. at the moment. I, I just I just hope 1-0 Liverpool. Good enough. <laughs> Is Good that enough. Heart or head? Uh, probably heart. <laughs> <laughs> All right, one final shout. What do you guys think? Let us know at Yahoo Southeast Asia on YouTube, Yahoo SG, Yahoo underscore MY on Twitter, Yahoo SEA on TikTok. And thanks to you wonderful folks, our friends at Starhub are sponsoring our podcast again. Yep. And not only are they doing uh, our sponsorship and then they have the Premier League packages, they will also be doing some free live screenings uh, in the coming months. So if you want to know about upcoming free live screenings, where it is, when will we be helped, follow our podcast. Brilliant. And we'll be there. We will be there. Brilliant. Mm. Yeah, we look forward to that. Thanks as always for watching. Mm -hmm. I managed to get through the whole podcast without oh. mentioning West Ham. Oh, look, I just did. Next, but... <laughs> next part, next, next part, part two, we're oh, going to have yeah. a good, good one for you, man. Yeah. Uh, we have a special guest uh, who's going to talk about a very major development in Singapore football. Tell them. You can Former tell them. Singapore national defender, Bai Haki Kaisan, will be coming to our podcast. Bai Haki. The legend. Mm. Since we won the Global Award, everybody's coming everybody's on the coming. podcast. Yeah, it is. Good shout. Amazing. So, yeah, stay and watch part two with Bayhaki. In the meantime, take care. See you soon. <laughs>